npm or maybe yarn. What does this project use? Well, I don't care because with ni, I can get all the dependencies installed. Now I want to run the test. Again, npm or yarn, nr, test. And there you have it. I can run all the tests, again, without even caring about what package manager is used under the hood. But what kind of sorcery is this? Is it a new package manager? <laughs> no, no, don't worry, it's not a new one. But it's a tool which detects which package manager is used in this project and uses it for you. It currently supports npm, yarn, pnpm and bun, the dinner runtime. It covers all the command you need and I'm going to show you in a moment. But the thing is, as an open source contributor, it happens quite often to switch between one project or another and I don't always remember which package manager should I use when I switch project. Let's get back to VS Code. We already saw an i to install the packages and r to run a command. So what if we want to uninstall? Well, n, un, uninstall. Let's say I want to uninstall husky from this project. None husky. I can see now in the changes that my package.json lost husky here in the dependencies. But what if I want to add it back? Well, an i without any argument installs node modules, but I can use an i husky to install husky back. And well, I see here husky is in the dependencies, but I wanted it to be in the dev dependencies. Super easy. An i hyphen d husky, which happens to be exactly the same as npm install hyphen d to go into the dev dependencies. Cool, but how do I get started? Well, an i is an open source package and you can globally install it as a regular package on npm, which gives you the ni command in the console. But what else can you do? Well, in the readme of this repository, you can find all the supported command. As you may guess, you have ni, which stands for install, so npm, your, pmpm, and one. You can install packages on dev dependencies, as we just seen in the demo. You can run with nr. You can download and execute with nlx. You can also upgrade a package with nu, not available for bun. You can uninstall, you can clean install. For example, in pipelines, you often see npm ci, so you can just add nci. You can use aliases, change directories, and we have a global config. So if you're curious how this works, it's super easy, but it's also well explained here. Before running, it will just attack the log file you have in your repository. So if you're curious about that weird file with all the packages which changes from time to time, well, it's the log file and yes, you're supposed to have one and committed to the repository. Fun fact, nlx was previously nyx and previously nx, but to avoid conflicts with other popular libraries, they just renamed to nlx. By the way, this project is maintained by Anthony Fu and it's free, it's open source, but there's this sponsor button. Open source has to be supported. So if you find some cool tools you use every day, they increase your productivity, you might consider donating even little amounts to the owners and maintainers to keep the project running. Also, don't forget to leave a star, and if you have ideas on how to improve the project, open source, right? You can create issues, pull requests, and you're good to go. And that's it for NI. Thank you for watching and if you want to support my channel, it's free, just hit the subscribe button. You can also leave a like and continue watching here. Thanks again for watching this video and see you there. Have a nice day.